Antimicrobial Resistance or AMR is the biggest public health emergency of our times. India carries one of the largest burdens of drug resistant pathogens globally and is also one of the largest consumers of antibiotics worldwide. Impact of AMR on health and socio-economic parameters is predicted to be potentially catastrophic. It is undoubtedly time to elevate our efforts to the next level. We met back in 2018 and the rich deliberations highlighted the need of strengthening labs at the district level and introduction of comprehensive automation and lab information systems. Importance of surveillance and infection prevention at district level was also a clear takeaway. Over the past years, India has recognized AMR mitigation as a national priority. A lot has been accomplished since then and India has made significant progress with respect to combating AMR. But some dots still need to be connected, which is why we are all here for the AMR Summit 2.0. This summit intends to reinforce the focus on advancing lab capacity, surveillance and diagnostic stewardship to combat AMR. The whole world is much more focusing in infectious disease at this time. Reports have come where we see that the abuse of antibiotics is on the increase in our country. In this situation, we have to have deliberations like this and make sure that our doctor community, the postgraduates as well as the senior physicians become much more aware of the usage of antibiotics. We should always ask the question, what are we treating? What infection are we treating? What bacteria is responsible for that infection? and what is the ideal antibiotic and these basic questions will definitely lead us to a better way of treating our patients. Managing a patient with an infectious disease requires diagnostic stewardship, infection control and antibiotic stewardship for improved patient outcomes and to, to limit the emergence of superbugs while ensuring patient safety. These superbugs are resistant even to last resort antibiotics like carbapenems and cholestin. Diagnostic stewardship, very simply put, means ordering the right tests for the right patient at the right time to provide optimal clinical care. Suboptimal diagnostics, usage, for example, blood culture and susceptibility testing in fever of unknown origin or suspected sepsis remains a key challenge in India. Lack of knowledge regarding appropriate use of diagnostic tests and antibiotics aggravates the situation perpetually. This has tremendous implications for patient care and AMR surveillance. Diagnostic stewardship should focus on improving access to comprehensive diagnostic and hospital information systems for seamless care. Getting the support of good diagnostics at the right time can indeed be life-saving and is absolutely essential to good clinical decision making. So we have a very happy story to share here. We're in a 41-year-old patient presented to us with uh, a four months history of intermittent fever, weight loss and general sense of health in a background of angiography that he had undergone uh, in, a, in a medical center. He was extensively worked up for this fever at many centers and all the uh, investigations were uh, inconclusive. By the time he came to us, his echo revealed the presence of a small vegetation at the aortic cusp and uh, as a part of uh, infective endocarditis workup, we received three sets of blood cultures. He was put on empirical therapy and uh, he, he did respond uh, to this um, treatment initially. However, very soon he was readmitted to us uh, with fever and symptoms of cardiac failure. Looking at the uh, at the clinical picture and, and the history of vegetation, he was planned for an emergency surgery for valve replacement. Uh, but by that time, uh, the blood cultures that were sent to us demonstrated the presence of acid fast bacilli and a rapid grower which were also isolated from the valves that we received later on. The organism was identified to be mycobacterium abscesses. It was subjected to sensitivity and uh, a targeted therapy was then uh, later on uh, given to this patient. 
he responded well and was discharged in a stable condition thus uh, the, it highlights the importance of, a, of of these rapid automated blood culture systems and the identification systems that really help us you know arriving at this diagnosis early enough um, to be able to provide um, targeted therapy for a favorable outcome to measure is to know and for that we need amr surveillance systems supported by quality diagnostics in 2013 indian council of medical research initiated the amr surveillance and research network to collate data nationally availability of such nationwide data on drug resistance would put us ahead of bugs and enable a concerted effort response for amr containment in india currently in most lmics automated diagnostics to support antimicrobial stewardship are limited to tertiary care settings and the non availability of quality diagnostic at lower levels of healthcare is a major bottleneck in our ability to manage patients and capture community data to address this issue icmr and who have suggested culture identification and antimicrobial susceptibility testing to be made available in all district hospitals ours is a tertiary level oncology facility and we believe in high level diagnostics and stringent infection control measures to manage our patients so we had a patient recently with acute myeloid leukemia who had a stem cell transplant done at our center after few days into transplant he started developing hemorrhagic cystitis after several unsuccessful attempts we were not able to find a clue later we did a molecular test in the urine which picked up adenovirus and appropriate antivirals were started which led to significant improvement in his symptoms i would say that the success of antimicrobial stewardship program lies in close collaboration between the clinician and the diagnostic labs amr is a threat to everyone close collaboration is key to move the needle on combating amr so all of us need to be resistance fighters right here right now to slow the risk of amr continuous innovation is the key and bd remains committed to investing in such innovations we are focused on the development of transformative and integrated solutions to support every step of patient's journey and to help in clinical decision making the primary aim is to ensure that the patient gets the correct and informed treatment driven by meaningful and strong partnerships we together have the potential to impact millions of lives and reduce the risk of amr in spirit of the difference we must make together we warmly welcome you to this summit